What's going on guys, Cordy here and welcome back to another tier list. Today's tier list is going to be going over supports. Now there's only a few supports, there's only a few true supports, so I did add in a couple of uh, honorable mentions. But yeah, like there's there's hardly any supports right now, supports are kind of kind of rough. But let's go ahead and go into the tier list and kind of break down each hero and, and see where um, they are kind of at in the, the rankings list. Alright, so first up is going to be Narbash. Uh, Narbash is a great hero, pretty solid hero. He has a stun, he has a heal, he has a knockup on his ultimate. Um, he has a mobility, he has a movement speed. Just a pretty solid um, support. I guess the only really negative downfall about Narbash is he can be stunned out of his ult. So that's kind of kind of useless, but so I'm going to put him at the A tier. This kind of does a lot of good things well. The next up is even Muriel. Muriel, if, if you guys haven't been playing a lot or if you guys don't know, Muriel is probably like the best hero in the game. She has mobility on the shield she has a a slow that can go into a stun she has a global ultimate that gives you a shield her cooldowns are pretty low so she is just so good at being a support um in my opinion the best hero in the game 100 percent first pick or ban muriel all the time really really solid but muriel is going to go in the s tier or ss sorry she is this she definitely needs to be um nerfed she is she's one of the the heroes that i think in my mind that she needs to be nerfed she's so good okay next up we're going to skip uh, still for right now, we're gonna go to Deckler. Um, again, because there's only a few, there's only really three true supports. Um, so we're gonna go to next to Decker. Decker is just another kind of solid support, kind of like Narbash. She has a, a ranged stun. She has a leap, which doesn't really help too much for your team. It's just a leap. Um, she has an AOE slow that does damage when you pop it. And then her ultimate is a cage. The ultimate's Sometimes it's good if you can really use it around like people who don't have dashes or if they use their flash already, then she's good. I'm actually going to put her behind Narbash. I think Narbash is a little bit better, but Narbash can bring the healing. Uh, it just feels more. They both have stuns, right? Decker has a longer stun. Yeah, but they both have, they both have stuns. Their ultimates are both kind of meh, but with Narbash, he has that heal. That heal is insane early game whenever you're in, the, in that laning phase. He has a heal that can't be stopped until you really get anti-heal. So there's really no point in trying to poke him out. They're just going to heal it all up. And then when it comes to late game, Narbash can like fall back and heal. People are going to be building anti-heal. But whenever you go in a little initiation and you fall back, if you can heal, the other team is not really going to be healing. So um, Narbash kind of just outscales the Decker at that point. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the supports. So again, there's not really a whole lot of supports. Supports need some love. Uh, we need some more heroes for the supports. So we're going to go into some like off support roles, uh, a few soul laners and some mages that can go in the support lane. Um, next up is going to be Steel. Steel's a really solid um, hero. He has a stun, he has a dash, he has an ultimate that can that kind of leap and knock up, AOE knock up. His shield is so good. His shield is probably like the, the best uh, skill in this kit. It blocks a lot of incoming projectiles, but allows your team to hit through. He's really solid. He's better played in the solo lane that way he can use his dive effectively but because he has so much cc but the dash knockup the stun the ult into a knockup he has so much cc that he makes a prayer for solid support actually i'm gonna put him at s tier i think he's better than um Narbash and decker in, in solo still is probably higher is definitely a higher tier he's just really really good um but he's less effective in the support role but still really good that i think i'd probably have a have him over a Narbash or the Decker. All right, next up is gonna be, we're gonna go to Rampage. Uh, we're gonna get the other the other uh, solo laner in here. Rampage, Rampage is really good. Great in the solo lane, great in the jungle. Support, he's kind of meh. Support, he's, his only crowd control is gonna be his rock and that's it. He's, he's more of a dive support. He's gonna be diving the bank line with your solo, with your jungler, rather than staying back and kind of peeling for you. If you're kind of desperate and all the other supports are gone and, and maybe seal's gone, then I would go into a rampage. I'm gonna put rampage in the B tier. He's yeah, he's just kind of meh in the in the in the support lane. He only has one ability, one true ability. He's he's more like just a, a just a diver. Again, he jungle a solo. He's way up there in the tier list, but his support, he's not that great. All right, then last up is gonna be our mages. Uh, we have Phase, Belica, and Wraith. They they're better in the mage. They're better in the mage role. They can be played in support. They have a few support abilities. Um, face has a pull that can be really annoying in lane. You can try to pull someone out of combat or pull someone close to you um, and, and you know, get them in a bad position to kill them in lane. She has an AOE blind that can help peel for the team. 
that's really kind of about it. She's mainly just going to be doing damage. These are your damage supports, really. Uh, Bellica has a knockup. That's really the only good support ability she has. And then Wraith has Wraith has a, a free ward that he can toss out multiple times. So it's really hard to win the lane the ward laning phase with with Wraith. He has a he has a rewind. So if you do get ganked, Wraith can go ahead and rewind one of those people back. And then if he gets a really bad situation, he can ult everyone around him to give them mobility and, and invisibility. He's kind of played support in that regards. Uh, for these mage supports, I'm actually gonna just leave them here at the C tier. I don't think they're really, really great. Um, I definitely would recommend playing the other top, the other supports over these guys. Even Rampage is kind of better, just because he could be a little bit more tankier than these 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 uh, supports. These mage supports don't really have a lot of base stats. Um, you're mainly going to be building them damage, just because of, you'll be more effective doing damage rather than being tanky. Whereas Rampage, he can actually you can build him tanky and be effective. Um, so I'm going to leave these guys in the seats here. All right, guys, and that's actually going to be the end of the video. There's not a lot of heroes for supports, unfortunately. So you kind of have to like take in some other heroes and kind of fit them in. But if you go up to this tier list, definitely recommend playing the, the higher tier, the A, A and up. I, I wouldn't really go towards the majors. It, it, it could be kind of tough because ban with bans and ranks um, and people picking. I mean, they could ban like a Muriel Narbash or something. And the enemy team picks up, you know, steel for solo deck or support. So you're kind of like, oh, well, I have to play somebody so you have that option to either play rampage maybe your solo rampage or wanted or something so you're kind of forced into these other picks but yeah right now there's not a lot of heroes for support so it's kind of rough but if you are trying to get one of these i recommend getting those tops they're really good at just being a support all right that's gonna be it for the video if you guys like the video subscribe for more content check me out on live twitch.tv for slash corny i go live thursday through sunday at six central you can join my discord follow me on twitter all the links will be in the description below all right guys, but that's gonna be it for the video. We're going to do the the junglers. The junglers are gonna be next. Junglers are gonna be a good while. There's a lot of junglers in the game that you can play. A lot of a lot of different heroes you can play in the jungle world. So that one's gonna be a little bit longer video. But everyone take care and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.